One of the things I really like about Cardhop is how well it integrates with Fantastical and how easily it lets me create meetings for people or groups instantly. So how does this work? So first up, I need to bring up Cardhop. So I could either launch it from my dock, the menu bar, or I've got a keyboard shortcut. I've got control option D. That's going to bring up the Cardhop interface. And then I can just type what I want to do. So I want to invite Shannon. And as soon as it has results, it'll start uh, searching as I type. And I can click this calendar icon or just hit enter. And it's going to open Fantastical with a meeting for me and that person. And so then I can just add like sync up, uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m., right? There we go. Or I could do Friday, right? So, and then we're just in Fantastical. We're using Fantastical's natural language at this point. But it was very easy for me to get this up and running quickly. Uh, I just typed in their name. You didn't have to know their email address or anything. Super, super simple. So I really like that. But it goes beyond inviting just individual people. I can also invite groups of people. So I've got a product team right here with four of us where I want all of us in meetings sometimes. And so if I want to create a meeting to do like a retro on something, I could just do invite product. And so, okay, it finds the four of us because our job titles have product in it. But we also bring up the group. And so there's four cards, there's four people. So if I hit enter on this one, now it's created a meeting with all four of us in it. And then again, I can do all the normal things. Uh, so this is going to be a retro on Tuesday at uh, 1 to 3 p.m. Right, So there is my meeting uh, set up for all of us. I didn't have to think about who am I inviting. If you have a bigger team where you do this, uh, you won't forget people. <laughs> so that's a nice thing. But it's really nice to just be able to do that through groups as well. And setting this up is as simple as setting up groups in your uh, contacts. So the, these sync with your iCloud account. All of this does work on the iPad and iPhone as well, I should mention. Uh, but yeah, you can just go ahead and add a new group. Uh, so this would be devs, right? And so I can then go into my recents and say, um, okay, Rose is in the devs group, Michael's in the devs group. Uh, that's, let's say that's it. Um, and so now I have a group of devs. And then of course, if I just go into recents and then do invite devs, then I have the devs with two cards. So that's how that works. It's really, really nice, really easy to set up. And if you already have these groups, then you can just start using it today. But if you don't, you can really set up just two, maybe three that you'll use on a regular basis. And it's super simple to get them up and running. But yeah, that was a quick look at how Cardhop integrates to Fantastical to create meetings quickly and easily. Again, Cardhop is a part of the Flexibit subscription. So if you are already using Fantastical, there's no reason not to try Cardhop and give it a shot.